Hi, I'm Steve Richardson. Are you attending graduate school or going to a professional school like medical school or law school and you're looking for a way to pay for it, get some financial aid? Well, if so, then I urge you to look into a great program from the U.S. Department of Education called the Graduate Plus Loan Program. It's a great way to get the financing you need to attend that school. Now, it is credit-based, so uh, you need to apply for the loan. They will check your credit history, that sort of thing. Uh, if you aren't eligible or qualify uh, on your own, you can get a co-signer to co-sign it for you. And uh, even if you don't qualify with a co-signer, you might be able to explain extenuating circumstances to the Department of Education in order to get them uh, to give you the, uh, the loan anyway. Even if all of that fails and you're not able to get a Graduate PLUS loan, look into the direct loan program for an unsubsidized Stafford loan. You might be able to get some money there if you haven't maxed out Stafford money to pay for undergraduate school. If there's some money left over, you might be able to get a loan there on the basis uh, that you were turned down for a Graduate PLUS loan. Now, the only other thing to bear in mind with a Graduate PLUS loan is that there's no automatic in-school deferment uh, like there is for an undergraduate direct loan. Uh, it's not automatic, but you can get one. You just need to take affirmative action, contact your servicer, and uh, ask for and secure an in-school deferment. Now bear in mind that uh, these are not subsidized loans. So during the period of deferment, interest is going to accrue and then capitalize into the loan. So you may end up uh, owing a lot more money than you originally borrowed because of that accumulated and capitalized interest. So if you're looking for more information, on financial aid for school, please feel free to go to my website at richardsonlawoffices.com and download my free book, Applying for Federal Financial Aid, The Definitive Guide for Students and Parents.